All right, breakfast was finished and actually really good. Wifey killed it. Um, but anyway, while that's been happening, what the hell? For some reason, there's like a million moths hiding out under my... They're all moss. Um, but anyway, and there's a bunch of flies. What? Go out into the rain. Go away. Um, anyway, we, um, ah, Jesus. I don't know where I'm at right now. All right, now what I was saying before I had flies and a dog turd to contend with, obviously S13, a little bit wet. Um, the rain's just been ridiculous, but we got the old boy out here again. Morning. Um, having another dip at this 86 front quarters, finding the high and low spots. I guess we'll start on some bog work today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just going through to find out where the highs are. We'll tap them down a little bit. Because even though it's wet and shitty, it's not actually really, it's not cold. No, no. Which cold is the problem with this, not necessarily wet. Yeah, yeah. When it's cold, it takes a lot longer to, to, to dry yeah, off. Yeah, it's stuff, not so. cold. No, no. Still. Still Queensland guys, like still shorts, t-shirt, but it's 24. just raining a lot, like a lot. <laughs> um, I've never, since we've lived here anyway, water seems to have come up under my fence here, um, which is sucky. So, oh, nearly got the forward. Um, so I've dug a little trench in here to direct water um, down the drain because water had been just pumping down here and basically filling up this area with water and obviously it hasn't been draining out and it was starting to go into the garage area which I don't want so yeah we'll um hopefully when I get this driveway done on this side of the house that'll all get sorted out and uh we won't have those issues anymore try and run you through some of the process here but essentially what's now is just finding the highs and lows yeah obviously these are highs yep and as you can see down there is low a yep. good indications here you can see that it hasn't even touched the um the guide coat yet yeah so yeah we'll try and bring that one out a little bit so that's the process you go through find your high find your low tap your tap your highs down try and bring the lows I was gonna up say a you're bit. gonna bring it up with with the hammer first before yeah. you'll put any bog on yeah i mean i won't be able to get it 100 percent smooth because it's been stretched yeah but yeah, if we can try and get it as smooth as possible so that the um, if any bog goes on, it's only a very, very small amount. Yeah, because we've got a classic race car here. I need to, we need to straighten this out a little bit too. That got a little bit um, bendy boy in the, in the hit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna try not to run into people with this car because it's, uh, it's too nice for that. <laughs> well, as you said, it is a track car. It has been used. It's I mean, got a good it's history. A, it's, it's a beautiful Red Joe street car, all right? Um, Sorry. But yes, it uh yeah, I'd rather keep it not as smushed, but it definitely is, you know, I still want to send it, so yeah. The only thing is with an 86, obviously, things like these panels are uh, if you can't even find them, they're really expensive. Um yeah, far more expensive than any Nissan stuff right now. So yeah, you ideally don't want to be having to replace them if we can get the bodywork done and have an old boy. So old boys, old boys just know, okay? Old boys just know. <laughs> um, well, you know, I must admit, you've done a bloody good job to get it back to somewhere close from what it was. It was, yeah, I was... And you didn't even take it off the car, nah, did you? Come in through nah, here. No, I come in through there and like underneath and just wanted to make myself feel better. Like I pretty much didn't drift for the last half an hour of the event um, after I drove 10 hours to the event. So I probably drifted for only two hours. Uh, so 20 hours of transit to drive drift for two hours um and yeah half an hour of that was taken by me wanting to try and make the panel straighter so i feel better about it What we just did then is we took the round from there right back into around here now. So I've taken some of the, the dip right out around through here. Yeah. But that looks like it was probably something that was like that even before we painted it last time. Yeah, 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 it uh, definitely was. Um, and little things like that can come in from factory too when they press them. But I, yeah. Anyway, we're nearly close to a set of guide. I'll put a little bit of bog on there and rub it back and find out a little more. Yeah. 
so we're pretty much getting ready for bog time. What well, didn't show off camera is I fixed some of it. So that little bend here, I got that out. You were even surprised. <laughs> well, you did a bloody good job actually. Yeah, so um, just sorted that little edge out. So I, there's things I can do, but I'm really not confident with. So when I get in situations like that, I avoid doing it personally because I'm just not as confident with it. I, I feel like this is stuff that I could probably do but I get very impatient and I feel like there are things that are a lot better. Like I'm real, I get really concerned that I'm doing more harm than good. And then when it comes to someone professionally doing it, I've, you know, stuffed it all up. That's not a bad idea. Cause we were always taught do as much as you can until you get to the point where you're going to start doing damage. Yeah. And it's just a fine line of having confidence with yourself or knowing when to stop. Yeah. Um, you've probably heard me say it a few times, so I'll, I can do as much as I can, but this is above my pay grade. Yeah. Um, once again, it's just more so me worried about making a knock-on effect for the next bloke. Yeah, exactly, and, but, and that's something where Cameron's body works. I know that, I can't remember what it was, but there was something, but I'd had a red hot go at it and sort of butchered it a bit, and he's like, why did you... Whenever this happens again, he's like, just leave it alone and bring it to me. Don't even try and fix it. So, yeah, look. I am learning over the years and like I said I got a good chunk of this out at the track day enough where I was happy that I hadn't done too much damage and luckily it's been the case where it's just been you giving it a touch up basically and trying to get it back in line. Oh mate from some of the creases that I've seen you've done a bloody good job. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Getting on to bog work now. He's going to put a light skim on again find those highs and low points and I'm going to go find my coffee. <laughs> I feel like I'm being watched guys <laughs> I feel like I'm being watched alright so we're at Broomstick guys holy crap Broomstick's house is a mess look at this flooding that's flowing that is actually a flooding like that's wild so instead of it going get the whole thing is just a river Wow, so we won't go off the driveway, I don't think. This is bad, man. That's like, that's where we used to keep the cars, over there in the lake. <laughs> you wouldn't get them out for a week now. Yeah, lucky the cars aren't in the lake anymore. God, I'd love to get the Baraptor out in this yard, but it'd never be smooth ever again. <laughs> like mate, look at this lakefront property. She's gone up in value, mate. You've got lakefront property. <laughs> My shed's a lake too, it's bullshit, mate. <laughs> Lake, lake garage property, yeah. lake backyard property. Yeah, the pool's pretty much at the back door. The pool's at the back door? Yeah, it's just oh. lapping. Oh, wow. Yeah, the whole area. Yeah, we had to pump it all out this morning. Jesus. Mmm. Mmm. Oi. Not yeah. bad. Looks good with that colour. It does, eh? It sort of mm. suits. I don't know. I still think 33 GDR. I mean, the 33 GDRs look terrible selling to me. No, they're going to get this. Man, these poor sheep are like, fuck my life. <laughs> yeah, nice weather for a duck. <laughs> Even the ducks look like they're like, yeah, fuck this shit. Let them out. There. Oh, they're flying ducks. Bye bye. All right, we're back. We've got the hardener. That's why we went to Jamie's to get the hardener. These little bajiggies. Little wing wongs. Yep. So, yeah, we're actually going to get onto the bog work now. But we had to go for that mish to Jamie's. Mixer. Oh. I love this smell, honestly. And Tiana was whinging about the smell before. She was like, I can smell something, it stinks. I'm like, what can you smell? I think she actually was smelling the bog. Brings back memories from a really young age of the old boy working, my old boy working on cars. <laughs> oh, plaster of Paris. <laughs> oh, I'm putting it on nice and thick so I can bring it off, of course. Yeah. I just want to know where my lines are. I'm getting that rear quarter sorted so you can get a skim on there if you want. Yeah. All right, so bog laid out on the guard. I've got everything out of the way so you can get bog laid out here as well. So just a nice little skim on uh, front guard and rear guard. Both on the right hand. Oh, I guess the rear guard wasn't to do with contact at all. That was just me being me, so. Over exuberance. Yeah, over excited, over exuberance, all of the above. Um, so I think the idea is to let it all dry now. 
Yep. Gotta chill out for a bit. Hi. What's wrong? Doing orders? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I just had some work to do. But I won't go too close because of the dust, but <laughs> it's getting there. It's looking good. Looking pretty damn good, man. Yeah, top line's mint. Just gonna smooth this over a little bit more. Unreal. You're possibly gonna have some highs because it's been stretched. Yeah. So I'll sort go. it out, mate. Jesus, I, you know what I mean? Like, well, no, you're, here on, you're here on the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have to go out and invest in a shrinking disc. Yeah, we should have then... told me the other day to get one. Oh. Why don't we spoke about it? You should have told me to get one. You have to tell me these things. <laughs> it's looking sick, though. We're getting there. And the back's just about ready. To, it should be right to go. Oh, hard enough? Or... Uh, I mean, smooth. Oh, you already, oh, you already did that? Yeah. How did yeah. I not even notice? You were too busy giving advice. Yeah, yeah. I was. Ooh, baby. Ready to go. So, mad. So what, we'll give that another thing of the undercoat or whatever, or? Yeah, yeah, we'll hit it with some undercoat and then we can uh, look at getting a professional in to do the fade and... Mm. I don't, I, I don't paint. <laughs> <laughs> well, this wasn't, this definitely wasn't professionally painted. It was done by one of the boys, so maybe we can get uh, Brett back over for some painting. Possibly. Well, he did this. This is good enough. But yeah, keep him in the loop. Yeah, that's it. I'll have to get him on the blower. I know he's had a rough couple of weeks, so let's see what he's up to. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to go pick up the kids. Wife's looking at me like you need to go and pick up the kids. No, there's steam on the mirror inside. It's so not, not good. No, I don't know what's going on with the weather today. That's weird. Because the wall's in the bathroom. All right, so I went to pick up the kids. Unfortunately, Brad had to take off, um, but... Got the guard looking pretty schmick, I reckon. So, I don't know if I should be touching it or not, but it's feeling pretty good. A little bit of a high spot here. But other than that, it feels pretty damn good. Um, go over and have a look at the other quarter panel now. And this is looking pretty much ready to go as well. So, I'm pretty damn pumped on um, that progress today. We only spent a few hours on it, um, but yeah, it's definitely close to being back to its former glory. So I'll get hold of Brett and see if he can come out and lay some paint. Brad's not completely finished with the front guard. He wants to do some more on the front guard to get these high spots down or maybe to, um, something to shrink the metal a bit. So I might get this shrinking disc and, uh, yeah. Oh, Boston. Anyway, that's the bit of work on the 8.6 done today. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll go pick up the Raptor very soon. Yeah, boys, we've got the Raptor back. I saw it, the new transfer case is in. I'm pumped, I had a service done while I was there. Man, I'm so happy to have this car back. So, so happy to have this car back. All right, guys, well, I'm pumped. Raptor is back. I'm gonna show you guys the new transfer case. Where is it? Right there. So, she is a brand spanker transfer case. I haven't put it in four wheel drive yet, so I can't tell you how it works or anything yet. But um, yeah, very pumped to have the Raptor back and appreciative that Ford have sorted it out and uh, also wiped my red mark off of my warranty as well. So. Very happy about that. Anyway, Raptor things all working out, guys. Um, what can I say? Stay positive, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace out.